band gap reference or uh, voltage reference is one of the major important uh, building block of any analog IC. In any IC, you can find at least one band gap reference. So, band gap reference will uh, the functionality of the band gap reference is to give a constant refer reference voltage which is uh, independent of temperature and supply voltage. Suppose you have a band gap reference, you have a supply voltage to it and this is the output of the band gap reference. So, your band gap reference should give an output voltage, voltage is called VRF with respect to temperature and supply voltage that voltage should not vary. So, the functionality of the band gap reference is to give a fi fixed voltage, a reference voltage which is independent of supply voltage and temperature. And there are other parameters like uh, like uh, process variation also that we'll we will discuss later. The band gap reference are used in almost everywhere in analog uh, circuit design. For example, if you are designing an LDO or a buck converter or book uh, boost converter or any regulator, BGS circuit is uh, necessary to fix the output voltage and uh, in unlocked digital converters uh, that is uh, ADC and DSC, there also we use a uh, band gap reference. So there are many applications for band gap reference. So in every circuit we need a reference voltage for our calculation, for our comparison and for other purpose also we need a fixed voltage uh, which, which should not change with temperature or supply. And when we design the circuit we don't know where it is going to use. It may be used inside the refrigerator or in even in mines. So not only that, uh, see the temperature will be developed inside the IC also. When we start an IC, the temperature will be at one point and after, when it is working the heat will develop and the temperature will increase and the temperature of the whole circuit, all IC will vary. But we don't want any change in our temperature, uh, sorry in reference, reference voltage. So that's why our reference voltage should be constant with respect to temperature and supply. So generally the industry standard uh, temperature variation is 40 minus 40 degree to uh, 125 degrees. So we should expect this much variation in the temperature uh, in industry standard and uh, supply variation that depend on, on application to application. In some application uh, supply variation will be 10 percentage or 20 percentage but in linear but in regulators like bug converter or something supply variation will be very much huge. Suppose in automotive your, you can have supply variation up to 4.5 volt to 18 volt or maybe higher than that. So this will be the only supply available to you and you may have to, you, you have to design circuit, you have to design a, a band gap reference from the supply voltage but that supply voltage can vary from 4.5 to 18 volt. So as a conclusion, uh, band gap reference is a circuit which will give constant output voltage with respect to temperature and supply variation. So we said the two important parameters are supply variation, second thing is the temperature variation. The supply variation we will discuss later. Uh, the temperature variation is more important and uh, let us discuss temperature variation first. So when we have a lot of circuit, we have a lot of uh, device voltages and current. So if we uh, consider them, if we analyze the characteristics of those voltage and 
currents with respect to temperature we can see some of them some of the voltages or current will increase with respect to temperature if we increase the temperature the voltage or the current will increase with temperature so we can see this type of a graph if it voltage or current it will increase with temperature so this type of voltage or current we call them pitat pitat means proportional to absolute temperature so it could be voltage or current if it is voltage we call it as pitat voltage so some of the voltages are pitat they will increase with respect to temperature and uh, some of the voltages or currents are ctat that means they will decrease with respect to temperature so we call it as ctat ctat stands for complementary to absolute temperature voltage or current there is no voltage or current that we can see which is constant with respect to temperature if some voltage or current we found which is constant with respect to temperature then we can use them as a reference but uh, there is nothing which unfortunately there is nothing which is constant with respect to temperature this is our aim we need a voltage which is constant with respect to temperature uh, this is our uh, this is what we need but in reality every voltage that we can uh, we come across will increase with respect to temperature or decrease with respect to temperature or we can say uh, any voltage is either p tat or c tat so how will uh, generate this constant voltage we can make a constant voltage by cancelling the effect of p tat and c tat suppose i have a p tat voltage like this which is increasing with respect to temperature and i have a c tat voltage which is decreasing with respect to temperature so this is c tat and uh, this is my p tat for example i am giving some values here suppose this voltage is 0.5 volt and this is 1 volt and here it is 1 volt and here it is 0.5 volt assume here it is 0.75 volt then if we if i add the p tat if i add the p tat and the c tat what i i will get so here if i add 1 plus 0.5 i will get uh 1.5 here 0.5 plus 0.5 here also i will get 1.5 here 1 plus 0.5 again i will get 1.5 so if we join this we will get a constant voltage that gives constant voltage so the idea is to cancel the characteristic cancel the c tat nature with the p tat nature to get a constant voltage but uh, this is not applicable to any p tat and any c tat for example uh, if our p tat is like this and if our c tat is something like this then they will not get cancelled so we will get if we add this to curve we will get a curve something like this so our uh, assume our p tat is from 0.5 to 1 volt and our uh, c tat is from 0.6 to 0.5 volt so if we add them together here you will get 1.5 volt here you will get 1.1 volt so this is not a reference voltage this is varying with respect to temperature so you can say any p tat plus any c tat will not give a constant voltage to give a constant voltage to get a reference voltage uh, 
uh, the PTAT and CTAT should cancel each other exactly. If they cancel each other exactly, then we will get a constant reference voltage. Then only we can call it as a reference voltage. So, uh, how we will how we will get exactly same PTAT and CTAT? Is it possible to get exact same PTAT and CTAT so that they cancel each other? It is not possible to get at get exact the same thing. So what we can do is uh, we can scale the PTAT and CTAT uh, so that they get cancel each other. For example, if we get a uh, C that like this, we can scale the C that such that it is moves to like this. Then if we add, they will get cancelled. In mathematical term, we can write alpha 1 C that plus alpha 2 C that equal to constant voltage. So we will adjust this alpha 1 and alpha 2 so that when we add alpha 1 p dot plus alpha 2 c dot we will get a constant voltage. So we will adjust these two curves. We will adjust these two curves to get a constant voltage by adjusting alpha 1 and alpha 2. How we will do it in circuit that we will discuss later. But this is the uh, core idea of the band gap reference. We will uh, make a CTAT using circuit and we will make a PTAT using circuit. Then we will add the weighted voltages. Uh, we will add after multiplying with alpha 1 and alpha 2. Alpha, we will design alpha 1 and alpha 2 such a way that they cancel each other. So we will get a constant voltage. So this is the basic idea of the band gap reference. So what we are going to do is we will implement this circuit. Uh, we will implement this equation using a circuit. This is what band gap reference. Or in a block diagram, we can make it. Uh, we will make a p-tat circuit. Then we will make a CTAT circuit. So we cannot, if we add them directly, there is no guarantee that this, they will cancel each other exactly. So we will multiply this with alpha 1, this with alpha 2, and they will we will add them together to get a constant reference voltage. So this is the block diagram of the band gap reference and uh, we will implement this in circuit. So for that first we will uh, make the CTAT circuit and we will explain the properties of the CTAT first.